Hello, funky monkey subscriber watchers, I don't know, people who just randomly clicked on this video. Well, you want to know how to build your own mob farm, and you want to do it easily and quickly. You don't want any of this silly, like, crap that usually gets told is like super hard and efficient, very efficient, sure, but they're usually quite difficult to build mob farms. So, I'm going to be describing today a mob farm uh, that is very commonly used on survival servers due to its usefulness. So if that is what you want to do, then it's actually quite good. As you can see, I've actually just only been grinding just now, and this is all I've got. Gotten quite a lot, actually. There we go. Now, I actually did build this one from scratch. Yes, but I'll show you. So my special request that I got was, how do I make a farm that will give me a stack of bones an hour. Now, I'm just going to go down this little thing where I can show you the workings of this. So basically, how the farm works is that there are these spawning platforms of any size that you want, although I recommend that you uh, do the size which is 11 blocks out, because that's as far as the water will flow. And Basically, with trapdoors. You know, you see how it works. Is that when the an the sorry, not animals, the like the mobs walk into the middle and then fall down there. You can expand this for as much as you like, and for about a stack of bones per hour, I would recommend about three to four layers of this. On this farm alone, I have only actually done one layer, but you can expand it as much as you like. And as you can see, it's pretty efficient. There are, now, there are two ways you can build this. You can put magma blocks at the bottom, or you can do like a very long full distance to make it uh, like just an item farm. But if you're wanting some XP as well, then it would actually be pretty nice to, as well as having this for rockets, of course, then you can also just get XP. And the best thing about this farm and I think this might be only with this design, is that actually, uh, while you're at the bottom, the, all the mobs will walk down to you, but they can still spawn even when you're away. So say I'm off doing other things, like, I don't know, let's say I'm off crafting at my base. Bruh. Apologies. Um, like, let's say I'm crafting rockets from the previous, I don't know, farm raid sort of thingy. Uh, and then, when I come back, the farm will actually still be working. So, that is, like, a pretty nice thing, because all the, all the mobs still spawn, as long as they are inside your render distance. And then when I come down, fresh mobs for me to kill. And if they don't walk towards you, you can just crouch down like this. But you do need the slabs. So, basically, you are going to need a hopper, uh, a spinning round, round, round thingy, uh, of a hopper minecarts and just the setup over here that I talked to you previously. Now you're gonna need slabs and um, uh, for for this area, and after that you're basically like all done. You 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 should be fine. So I think that 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 is this uh, farm tutorial today. Hope you enjoyed and be sure to subscribe. And I hope this is. Uh, gives much, much use to those who need it. So, and that here. Bye!